Madeline Baumgartner, great actor. He, of course, uh, played the uh, role of Kevin Malone on The Office. Good friends with Aaron Rodgers on the sidelines Monday night. Aaron comes over, gives him a big hug, and then it went south from there. Brian joins us on the program. How did you end up on the sidelines? Uh, first off, good morning, Dan. Good morning. Dan. I, uh, I, I have no idea. I, I decide I'm, I'm doing a speaking conference in Syracuse, by the way, I should mention a human resources conference, how I got chosen to speak <laughs> at a human resources conference. I still don't know. <laughs> they were delightful. And I was going to be in Syracuse Sunday night. I had a flight back Monday morning and I was like, you know what? It's game one. He's playing. It's a four hour drive. We've got, I've got to go. So we call the jets. We, I don't know. Someone <laughs> on my team calls the jets and says, I want to go. I tell him I'm going and I show up at the stadium and I don't know. I've, I've never been there. I've never been to, to met life. Uh, I've, I've resided in, in Lambo for quite a while. And so I show up and suddenly they're like, we have 15 minutes. Do you want to go on the field? I said, well, yeah, sure. I go down. Maybe I can see him and say hi. And I didn't see him coming over. I tried to get his attention a couple of times and, and then he ran over and it was, uh, it was very emotional, Dan. I have to tell you, I have been fortunate enough to have been at Super Bowls and uh, World Series and NBA Finals games, the Terry Strug moment at the Olympics in Atlanta when the she broke her leg or whatever. I have never felt a stadium, a sporting venue, feel the way that it did in MetLife on Monday night in my life. That's me. I'm not going to argue you know, other people can bring up, I, I am saying for me on the sidelines before when they first ran out, yeah. this was for warmups and the guy with the hat started doing the J E T S jets. It, it was chills were running down my spine. And then we went up to the seats and, you know, when he ran out with the American flag, he's introduced I've never heard something that loud and that like genuine because it wasn't like, oh, let's cheer on our team. It was like the weight of 55 years since they've won a Super Bowl, but really 22 years since 9-11. I'm getting chills talking about it right now. I'm giving myself chills, which is weird, but it was just like you could feel this collective relief and euphoria and like he was carrying the hopes for them as a team and a city for the year it was just it was on it was it was a moment i will never forget never forget and, and then then of course 11 minutes later it's like it's the dead done crazy uh you were one of the few that I didn't text that night. Anyone's number that I had in my <laughs> phone. I, I, you know, pe some people started texting me. I, I'm not going to mention a, a ton of names, but like, cause I was at the stadium and I guess this video had gotten released that I was there asking me what was going on. <laughs> like, I can't see anything. So I just am trying to find out like what's going on is, you know, is he okay? Is he coming back? Is he on the sideline? At one point, I will tell you this is, is nothing about it is funny, but I was across the field and I saw somebody with a ball that looked like him. Now, maybe he doesn't look like him at all, but from where I was across the field and I, I'm, I guess my eyes are going bad. I'm like, is that eight? Is that eight? He was like tossing a ball up in the air. Is that eight <laughs> to the guy I'm with? And he goes, no, that's, that's five. The punter. It's not, it's not eight. Um, so I didn't know what was going on. It was just, uh, it was just horrible. Have you reached out to Rogers? Uh, yeah, but you know, he's got a lot going right now. And I, you know, I expect at some point, you know, I flew back yesterday morning. I told, uh, Fritzy, I, you know, I, so I flew back yesterday morning, kind of when everything was for real, for real happening. Um, and I, you know, 
I suspect I'll talk to him at some point here when when things calm down and and maybe he gets uh, his procedure done. When's the first time you met Aaron Rodgers? How did this bromance start? So the American Century Championship, which is the golf tournament that's in Lake Tahoe, um, this is 2008, summer of 2000. This story is insane. I don't know if I've ever told you the story. The story is insane. I was sitting at a blackjack table. There's a Harris Casino. Yeah, in yeah, Lake I've been Tahoe. there. Yeah, I've been there. And and I'm I'm sitting at the blackjack table, and there's a guy sitting next to me, and there's some people around, and he starts chatting with me. I have no idea who he is. No clue who he is. He's a fan of The Office, and um, so we're chatting. And then when he introduces himself, I'm like, oh you're the cow guy, right? You're the guy who's going to replace Brett Favre here in a few months. Oh, nice to meet you. And, and there are TVs around the, the this is a true story. This is, doesn't, this sounds like a movie. It doesn't sound real. There are TVs around the casino up above the tables. You can kind of glance at. And that day is the day that Brett Favre said, I'm not retiring. So he's sitting there. He's playing in this event. He's about to be the starter of the Green Bay Packers. Favre has already retired, and now Favre says, I'm not retiring. So at this day that we meet, he doesn't know if he has a job or not or if he's going to be a backup again or they're going to sign him and, you know, all of that stuff. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I felt bad for him. I don't know. We just became friends and uh, then – started playing a lot of golf together. He was living off season in the uh, Southern California area and um, ended up, I guess a couple years later going to uh, the Super Bowl in Dallas uh, where they won. And um, well, whose idea was it to put him in an episode of the office? Me. That was me. That, I mean, you know, at that point we were really, really good friends and we did a table read of this was like the final penultimate episode. I think they, he, I think it was supposed to be the second to the last episode. It ended up kind of in the last episode. That might be wrong. Um, and they had some, they had a sports star written in who I'm not going to name in the script. Can we guess? After, Can we guess? Sure. Okay. Uh, football player? No. Wait a minute. You can't, this is not 20 questions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No. Le- I, I don't know if I I don't know if that's ever gotten out. I don't know if I can do. Le- I don't know. Le- LeBron James, no. Steph Curry, I, I, no. All right, everybody gets a, a guess. Fritzy, take a guess. Michael Jordan, no. Okay. Seaton, Scotty Pippen, <laughs> no. <laughs> Marvin, Le- Charles Barkley, no. Paulie, I'll go Michael Phelps. You're closer, but that's not true. Also, that's not correct. Closer, also. closer, closer. Meaning, All right, closer meaning. Gosh, I don't know if this is ever. Gone. I don't. Can I say? I yes, didn't know. just say Am I it. To You're say? still on scholarship. Here we go. Hold on. I'm not even supposed to talk about the show right now. No, no. But Jesus. that's you can talk about the past. You can't talk about the. No, future. I don't think I. I don't think I can. Um. It was a tennis player. John McEnroe. Nope. Serena? It was a tennis player that lived in Los Angeles. Now I'm like telling you. Pete Sampras. No. Is I it don't know why we're male? doing this game. Why? Just I mean, tell I, me I, who I'm it is. Gonna tell you. Andy Roddick. Andy Roddick was my oh, guess. Andy Roddick. Andy Roddick. Andy Roddick. Okay. I, yeah, it was there. And I, so I went to Greg Daniels and I just said, I mean, oh, so you big footed Andy Roddick. This is why I didn't want to say anything, Dan. I don't know. Maybe yeah. Andy was, I've met Andy before. I don't know if Andy was a big fan. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. I went to Greg and I said, Have, is this a deal? Like, is this, is his name here <laughs> because it's a done deal? In which case, I would have done nothing. And he said, no, he was, you know, a, a, not a placeholder, but he was someone we would love to have, but we have not reached out to anyone yet. And I said, well, I have a friend who's a really big <laughs> fan of the show. If you're looking for a sports guy, I think he would work really well. So that's how it happened. Oh. It was that simple. All right. He said, yes, we would love to have him. And he was there a couple, couple days later. How were his acting chops? 
I mean, look, you can, you know, he's, he's still bummed out that, that they made him say a line that he didn't like. What was the line? There's a flag on the play. Let me, let me, let me, let me reintroduce you here. He's uh, he played Kevin Malone on the office. He's uh, Brian Baumgartner. I'm a best. Sell- you don't talk about and- the office. I'm a best selling author. Mega podcaster, award winning. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, why didn't you tell Fritzy that? Because Fritzy gave me this this sheet here, and that's he doesn't all. listen to me. It he just says actor me. played Kevin on The Office. That's all. We, yeah. He that's doesn't all he listen put. to me. Uh, he doesn't listen to me. Uh, and and the show is uh, still doing uh, unbelievably well. We we played an episode. We played the chili episode yesterday because it's it's just it's iconic. It, it's. It's one of well, the one of the best scenes in sitcom history is when you bring your chili in. Oh God! If I'm in a bad mood, all I need to do is put that on, and Kevin makes well, me laugh. That's that's very very kind of you, Dan. I you know I wish we were here under better circumstances. I heard, uh, I heard you were talking about it yesterday. At least this was attributed to you totally randomly last night. Someone brought you up mm. and I didn't even know at that moment that I was going to be on your show and said they were listening to you yesterday and you just talked about as a sports fan, it's just, it, it doesn't matter what who you're rooting for yeah. or against. Yeah. It's just sad. It's sports it just depression. feels like a loss. Brian, it feels I, like a loss. It's sports depression because... Yeah. I didn't. I'm not rooting for the Jets. I mean, I I just root for storylines. But that was a storyline that we had been fed for months, and it just happened too soon. It was like, wait a minute, hold on. And the high of the highest of highs when Rodgers comes out and carrying the flag, spotlights on him, and you're like, this is this is out of central casting, and yeah. and and then four plays in. And you know who reached out to me right away as soon as Rodgers goes down? The actor Josh Dumel, and he uh-huh. go, and he goes Achilles. And I, I'm going, well, that's soon, too soon. He goes, no, it's Achilles. And then I thought, okay. And then we're texting back and forth, myself and the Dan Ads, and we're speculating here. I think when Rodgers got up, sat back down, I think he was asked, "Is he doing okay?" And he went, "Nope." And then I realized. He has blown out his Achilles tendon. Crazy. It's just so sad. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's like it Bo doesn't Jackson. Matter who you're rooting for. Bo Jackson is a was a sports depression because I'm not a Raider fan, but Bo Jackson shouldn't go out that way, where right. he gets tackled in a game against the Bengals, and that's the last we ever see of Bo as a football player. So yeah, that sports depression certainly set in. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but that those are certainly those visceral moments where you're like, oh, my God, this is, this yeah. is rough. How's the uh, podcast? Are you allowed to talk about the podcast? I'm allowed to talk about the podcast. Oh, yes, okay. I am. All right. Uh, off off the beat. It, it's it's great. I mean, we're having some trouble because we're having trouble. Uh, we're we're actually speaking to a lot of sports people now more than normal because you know of the strike going on and we can't it's difficult to have actors on and uh you know hopefully that gets resolved soon and we get back um we get back to business but i'm 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 just loving it i'm i i i, I couldn't love it more the conversations that we're having and just had uh just had Lindsay Vaughn on the podcast and Andrew Whitworth and uh a host of a host of others. It's been uh, AJ Przinsky. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if you've heard his new uh, foul territory thing. It's amazing. Anyway, it's it's been it's been great, Dan. I appreciate it. I I um, uh, yeah. It's just been a hard hard couple of days. Hard couple of days. Well, hard couple of months with what's going on with the writers' strike there as well. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's hey, for sure. Hey. I I I knew when. I think it was. I think it was like August 1st. This might be totally wrong. And they canceled the Emmys, which is in the third week of September. I went, well, that doesn't sound good. No. At all. No. By the way, Will Ferrell went with us to Dublin. Uh, we went I up- saw. I, why, where was my invite, Dan? Well, I, I, that was year one. 
And, okay. and, and Will is, he, he was the one who kept pushing for us to go to Dublin for a decade. He's, a, he's a, the founding father of this. But okay. I think we're going to Dublin next year. Or okay. we might go to London to go to a Premier League game. Ooh. I like the way you said that, by the way. Thank you. Premier. Thank you. Um, yeah, so you... I, I will put, on, put out a soft invitation to you. Uh, okay. Let me know. Let me know. That's, it, it looked like a lot of fun. Uh, it looked like a lot of fun. He was... He just said, I'm not a guest. I'm a Danette. I don't just yep. whatever the Danettes do, we're doing. And uh, we hit the pubs. The pubs hit back. But Will was there. And then he flew. So he flies on his own dime. And then yep, he has to saying. fly back on Friday because his dad's birthday is Saturday in L.A. But he went over on Tuesday and stayed till Friday morning and then went back. So it's pretty awesome. Pretty I, I, awesome. I, I will. I will tell you this. I had the good fortune uh, of working with him, getting to know him a, a, a little bit. And there is no joke. I don't know if you've ever heard this before. I don't know if they've ever spoken about it, but to those of us on the outside, there is a, 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 a fierce competition between Will Ferrell and Steve Carell on who is the nicest guy in Hollywood. So we should have a nice off. You yes, I pitched you the idea. A nice, a nice off. off. A nice off. Yes, and I'll be there to be snarky. No, you'll be the host. <laughs> you'll be the host because you work with both on the office. Yes. Yeah. A nice off between Steve. A nice and, off. I like that. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, hopefully we'll have you on here uh, after the strike, and good luck with the podcast. And uh, thanks again for joining us. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. That's, that's uh, Kevin from The Office. He's been in a variety of things. He's got a podcast out, Brian Baumgartner.